He has recovered the football at the 27-yard line. Wright never got a hold of it, and then he couldn't come up with it as it was recovered by Daniel Campbell, 205-pound senior. So the first break, we don't see Schulenberg turn the football over very much. We have just seen it there. And now it is a first down and 10 for the Wheatley Wildcats. Deep in Horn territory at the 28-yard line is where they mark the football. High formation. Steele will give it to Fowler. He's got some running room for being brought down at about the 24-yard line. Ginnard is there. Schrammick gets up along with Valenzuela. Ricky Hernandez. Kevin Mark also in on that play. Second down. Chris Yurick has now entered the ball game for, for Brian Valenzuela. Second down and six for the Wildcats. I look. Receiver either side. Tight end here is on the right side. Quarterback wants to throw. Throws the ball up. The man is open in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Dwayne Smith. Dwayne Smith with a touch, touchdown pass, 24 yards out. And Houston Wheatley is now on top, 13, nothing. They will try the two-point conversion. The man dies, and he's in. They do the fake, and the man scores, and it is now 15 to 7. After the turnover, Wheatley wastes little time, and they own the scoreboard now. It, even though it's not on, the score. Wheatley 15, Schulenberg 7. Wheatley 15, Schulenberg 7. The Wildcats take advantage of the fumble. Take some two plays. Kickoff, Jason Houston at the 10 with a full head of steam at the 15, the 20. 25, trying to get outside. Goes backwards at the 20, now at the 19-yard line. Lost about seven yards by trying to go back to the left. Shorthorns, Jeff, just look, look a little bit out of sync here, and now trailing by eight. Maybe a little intimidated by the size and the, and, the, and, and the circumstance of play in the city and so on. Hopefully we can get our heads together and, and get back in this ball game and, and show some positive things before the half here. First down and 10. Ball is at the 19-yard line. Sarton, the quarterback, wants to pass. Jackson, in and out of his hands, incomplete. Coverage there by William Hamlin. That's normally a ball that Jamie catches for a good gain. Another slip on the turf, a slight slip, might have cost that pass. Uh, it, we're going to have to step this up and concentrate more and, and, and do a better job of executing. We're, we're sloppy out there. We need to uh, turn it up. They're capable of it. Turn it on any second. could be a big play, and we're right back in this. Second down and 10. Ball at the 19. Sarton wants to throw. In trouble. Now we will throw it out. Jackson has his man beat. He gets tripped from behind. There's no flag. They're saying it was uncatchable. The official right there says the ball is not catchable. But if you don't trip him, he can catch it. That's exactly right. If you don't trip him, there's a chance that he will get to that ball. I don't understand that call. It was only about three yards over his head being tripped in the meantime. So that brings up third down and nine now. For the Schulenberg Shorthorns. Kurt Bezetsny will run in with the play. Now he'll run back out. Coach David Hoosman has to hurry the clock. Uh, the uh, play clock is moving, so they don't have a lot of time. Third down and 10 for the Horns. Ball back in the 19-yard line. Not. There we go, third and 10. Here's the screen to Houston. He's hit and dropped for no gain. Well, that time they snuffed the screen out, and it's fourth down punt time. Children's look, Jeff, to be just a little frustrated. Just a little bit. Uh, Wheatley's got the edge up on them right now. They're emotionally playing a little better. 
Uh, we need a big defense to stop here to slow that emotion down and get back in this game. So Shawnick will have to punt. Back deep will be Dwayne Smith, who caught the touchdown pass to put Wheatley on top. Good snap. Not much of a rush. High punt. Smith will call for a fair catch, and it will be made at the 47-yard line, but 48-yard line, but still Jeff Wheatley has good field position. We need to uh, do a better job of stopping that run here. Make them throw the pass. They've completed some key passes on it. We've got to make them throw the ball anyway, I think. That run uh, is going to kill us. They're getting three to four yards a pop automatically without getting hit in the backfield. We need some penetration from our line and, and to turn it and, and let, let Wheatley start doubting their line strength and so on and, and, and put the fear back into them. First and 10, Wheatley Wildcats. They lead 15 to 7. Midway through the second quarter, I look. Ball is fumbled. We need a turnover here. Schulenberg says they have it, and they do. The ball was recovered by the Schulenberg Shorthorns, Tyson Romine. Possibly the break we needed. We need to capitalize on everything we can get. Get them down while their heads are down a little bit. Uh, just like a fumble exchange on the snap, possibly. The quarterback never came out with the ball. What we need right now is a long, nice, sustained drive and get into this end zone. A long drive, a one-play drive, whatever. Let's get six up back on the board and get uh, even. Shorehorns trail 15-7. to seven. Midway through the second quarter. Sarton is the man under. Will roll to his right, looking. Has time. Now he's in traffic. He's going to be sacked. Back to the 45. A loss of seven. Johnny Nickerson and Thomas Miller there. Second down and uh, 17 for the Horns. Adams in with the play. Clock is rolling, but as you said, not working on the uh, scoreboard. Being kept on the field. Sarton wants to throw. Throws it to Jackson. Jackson fumbles the football. And Wheatley has it. Jackson had it and then had it stripped away. That's a second turnover by the Horns. Very uncharacteristic. Well, we're uh, carrying the ball loosely there. Uh even if he'd have held on the ball, we still weren't going to get much out of the play, a yard or two. We've got to take care of the ball and take care of business here and, and, and get back to Shorehorn football. Jeff Wheatley, to me, is a lot quicker than I anticipated. Exactly. They're coming off the ball extremely well for big men. Uh, biggest men as we've seen this year come off that good. Uh, it's going to be a big test for us today. First and 10, Wheatley at the 45-yard line in Horn territory. Eye formation, little misdirection. Fowler with a full hit of steam. Up to the 36-yard line, again a nine. Misdirection. And it pulled the shorthorns, and Fowler gains nine. Second down and a yard. Schillenberg trails by the score of 15 to seven. Second down in the yard for Wheatley. Steele wants to pass, being rushed. Going to be hit, and sack attack! Big play! That's going to be Paco Valenzuela with it, and Sam Brown. That was Ricky Hernandez. Big play by the Shorthorn defense, Jeff. We're going to have to uh, put the pressure on this quarterback. Don't let him have some time back there. A good, a good sack there to... What did we lose, eight yards on the, on the play there? Loss of seven brings up third and eight. For the Wheatley Wildcats, ball back at the 43-yard line. They need to get it to the 35. This may be a passing situation for the Wildcats. Tight end is on the right side. Keep an eye on him. He's made two big catches already tonight. Third down. Quarterback Steele wants to throw it all about the Inter oh, Is it intercepted? No. Bezetsny with the coverage. They went to the tight end. He would have been well short of the first down. But the Horns defense holds to this point. It's fourth down now. 
There you go for it here. Let's see. Wheaton looks like they're going to punt it, try to pin the horns deep. Why not? The way the Shorthorns have held on to the football this afternoon by fumbling it, uh, that's not a bad option. I'm sure there's going to be an interesting conversation at halftime about uh, getting your head in the game and so on. Uh, we need to uh, capitalize on this. That was a good stop for Schulenberg. Good stop uh, in the sense that just turning the ball over could have gave up easily and, and, and set up a score. Low snap. The punter will get it. Schulenberg playing return. The ball is going to hit, and we'll take a short horn roll back up to about the 24-yard line, and that's where Schulenberg will take over. First down and 10 for the horn. Schulenberg on the drive. We are in the second quarter. Wheatley on top, 15 to 7. We're nearing halftime. We're not, uh, don't know exactly official clock, uh, time on the clock. Shorthorns drop, no call. There's a flag. There's a pass out to Jackson. He's going to get one arm down. Late, late flags, Jeff, but that had to be offsides. It was offside on their right defensive tackle. Uh, I don't know what the delay on getting the flag out was pretty obvious. It was a pretty good motion before the snap, too, so uh, I don't know. We're, uh, we're just, these screens we're just setting up here are just missing. They're getting us by the shirt tailor so on. They're just missing. A little more timing, a little, we're going to have to face their quickness. They're going to have good quickness. We've got to adjust to that and, and, and hopefully move on. Well, they, the coaches may also be trying to set something up. Offsides against uh, Wheatley, so bring up first and five now. Yeah, one thing, uh, maybe, you know, every, everything has a reason. Maybe they're trying to set something up, bait them to, to, to biting on the inside and then throwing deep on them. We'll see. Shramick will split out here to the right now. Kevin Mark has split way out to the left. There is no tight end in this set. First and five horn. They jump again. There's no call. Sweep it out to Houston. Jason gets away, and he's going to have it close to the first down. He's just one block away from a big gain. He's going to pick up six and a first down. The ball has moved up to the 35-yard line, and it's a first down for Shorthorns. Jeff, one thing, I, you know, not knowing how much time is on the clock, you can't just glance up there. It changes the strategy of coaches, too. It's hard to believe they couldn't get this fixed. Uh, they played games here last night, and if it wasn't working, why didn't they work on it overnight? I don't – maybe that's a uh, – we don't know what's going on with that. Sarton wants to throw. Throws it out. Jackson gets leveled. The pass was incomplete, and Jamie just got hit hard by Michael Conley. And they've got another game here the, uh, following this one tonight. So two Houston teams. So you really think that uh, they would have done every effort, made every effort to get the field in the condition. You know, we first got here this morning, and we had uh, – Water standing on the field because the sprinkler systems were left on. And uh, not what you expected when you come to the big city. Here's a draw to Houston. Houston in the open field. But he still can't get away from the man. He's going to take it up for a gain of five, but that's it. Brought down there by Dwayne Smith. It'll bring up third down and less than five now. We're inside the 40. We need to take it to just in, uh, outside the 45. So we're really about fourth, uh, third and along four. Reigns and right in the backfield. Two splits out to the left. Third down for the Horns. Sumble, uh, Sarton stumbles. Wants to run. Has a man. Adams is open. And he just threw it away out of bounds. Adams had his man tied up. And then got away. But the pass... Went incomplete, and now it's fourth down. It's fourth and five. They're going to have to punt it away here. Shramick will come in. And once again, the offense stalled. Well, we are running their big men to the sideline. That's one good thing we're getting out of this. Uh, hopefully, it'll take, take its toll in the second half. They're putting a lot of sweat out, these Wheatley boys. And hopefully, we'll uh, have that advantage our second half and, and, and take care of this game. So... Kujay with a snap to Shromick, who gets a good one off. It will drive Smith back to the 26. Stumbles. It's away. Now he slips the line. Uh-oh. This could be trouble. They've got the wall. He's going to go to the 30, 25. Jason Houston without a helmet. Jason Houston without a helmet makes the tackle at the 20-yard line, Jeff. That's a lot of heart. He could have just said, hey, I'm getting out of this play. I don't want any part of this. Uh, all I can do is get hurt. Nice play by him. A lot of heart on the Schulenberg sideline. 
things like that make your team. You'll remember that later on in the season. you got to look at something good out of every play. Uh, outstanding effort. We need to take care of the ball here. Get the ball back somehow. And at least don't let them score here. So the coverage was blown, and that man had a whole wall set up. Houston, Jason Houston, the safety valve, made the tackle, and he lost his helmet earlier in the play, and he stuck it down in there and made the great play. There's two minutes left here in the first half. Whitley on top, 15 to 7, looking for more. Handed off to Fowler. Slips the first line and then gets up to the 14. A gain of five. They move it back on the spot. Gain of, actually a gain of six. Gain of six. Second down and four. It's about a minute and 40 left in this first half. It is 15-7 Wheatley on top of Schulenberg. I look. And it's a fouler. He's met and hit hard by the headhunter, Chad Kennard. Nice to stand by there to stand him up. Make him remember, hey, 61's going to be watching you. We're gonna, he's had some outstanding games before. Set up a, a, a third and two here. A big play for the Shorthorns. And the clock continues to roll. We're probably at about a minute left now in this uh, first half. Wheatley on top, 15-7, looking for more before the half. And I formation. Steele, the quarterback. Rolls to his right, looking. Will throw it. And it's intercepted by Sarton. Steven Sarton has some room. Sarton to 35, and he's knocked out of bounds. Steven Sarton with a big interception, a big defensive play. One of our cheerleaders took a big hit on the side, but she's okay. Boy, I tell you what, for Sarton to be swung out of bounds that far, he must have been pushed and then pushed and then swung even more. That's, that's kind of questionable. Well, uh, you're going to have that out there, and you're, you're at somebody else's stadium. you got to remember, this is HIS, Houston officials and so on. Uh, you, you can't use that. It was, he, he got contact inbound, so you can't really call a penalty on it. He didn't. He carried him out on a good hit. Uh, you got to look at it as a good play by Wheeler, a good play by Sarton on the other hand, too, to deny them the score. These little things will help us later. Well, the uh, drive is thwarted, and now Schulenberg has about a minute left. 30 seconds. Boy, the clock runs quick when the Horns have the ball. 30 seconds left. First and 10, ball to 36. Sarton wants to throw. Has a man, Jamie Jackson. And he underthrew him, and the ball is knocked away. Jackson was wide open, Jeff. He was wide open. The ball was just under throw. They're getting a good rush on Sarton, and he's not getting a chance to set up a lot and, and get off a good pass. We've had some open receivers. Uh, there's going to be a long talk with that line and uh, we'll see if we can change some things second half. Second down and 10. Less than 30 seconds left to go. In the first half of play, it's 15 to 7. Wheatley on top. Throw it to Adams. Caught. Adams tries to get around. Still on his feet, and then he's knocked down. Short ones need to call a timeout, and they do. Gain of seven. The gain of seven. Is that going to be the last play of the half? It is. Well, without a clock, we'll never know. That's the end of the half. Our score, the Wheatley Wildcats, 15, and the Schulenberg Shorthorns, 7.
we're at the half. Our score, the Wheatley Wildcats on top of the Schulenberg Shorthorns, 15 to 7. Kevin Fishbeck along with Jeff Proschke, Greg Joel on film. We hope you've enjoyed the uh, halftime presentation by Schulenberg High School Band and the Wheatley High School Band. Jeff has got a uh, look at some stats now of the uh, first half. Uh, Jeff, the, the uh, statistics pretty much favor uh, the Wheatley Wildcats. Well, no overly powerful statistics anywhere, to tell you the truth. Uh, a pretty low-key defensive game overall. Uh, rushing, we have Houston for Schulenberg, seven carries, 20 yards, and one touchdown. Reigns, two carries for nine yards. Wright, one carry for no yards. Fowler, on the other hand, for Wheatley, the only ball carrier for Wheatley, 12 carries, 69 yards. Passing, Sarton, four of eight, 44 yards. Steele, three of five, 45 yards. Fairly even. Uh, one touchdown for, for Steele. Receiving, Jackson for Schulenberg, three for 37 yards. Adams, one for seven. William, the tight end for Wheatley, two catches for 21 yards, and Smith, the wide up, the one catch for 24 yards for their second.